Hello Collective, this is Debs and these are your channel guidance messages for the month of December 2023. So Archangel Michael, please join us and provide your guidance for those who need your advice. Please use me as a clear channel between this world and the next. Calling on the Divine, the Higher Angels, the Archangels and Ascended Masters, please may we have your first messages for the Collective for the month of December 2023. I'm getting the name Ahmed. Ahmed, Ahmed you're married. You may be heavily involved with your career. Your wife is going through a depression. It may be that she is simply going through a midlife crisis. It could be something to do with a child. Maybe you lost a child. Maybe her children have left home. She's not happy. She feels very alone in the marriage. She's really worried, Ahmed, that you may be interested in someone else. She may be feeling a little bit insecure. It may be something to do with her weight. She may put on a little bit of weight. Comfort eating. She loves sweet things. <laughs> she loves sweet things. Um, Ahmed, if this is you and you feel your wife is a bit distant with you, then maybe sit down and talk to her. It may well be that you two need a holiday. It may be that if you do something nice, you know, remember your anniversary, buy her some flowers. She wants to feel included in your life. And I know that sounds a strange thing to say. Okay, that's going out to Ahmed. Yes, thank you, Michael. Yeah. I'm hearing the name Carol. And now I'm hearing Andy L Longridge. Andy Longridge, okay. M Minnesota, similar to similar to J W, similar to Jacob. Okay, woo. I'm feeling quite um a heavy energy, a dark energy. Michael, please protect my energy. Thank you. Okay, this may be to do with a, a missing child. Okay. Michael wants me to leave that be. He said, Deborah, please move on now. Okay. So that's a message for someone. Tay. I'm hearing Tay. I'm seeing it as T-A-Y. Don't worry, he's definitely coming back. <laughs> you have a feeling. Yes, and he's definitely coming back. I can see a woman with a massive smile on her face, looking at her phone. Okay, Tay, he's definitely coming back. Yes. Might have been a while, though. Might have been a while. He was feeling... Okay. Michael's telling me he was feeling a bit fed up with the situation. Too much to handle. Too much. For whatever reason. But he's now realised that... I'm hearing he walked away at a bad time for you. You could have had a lot you were dealing with in your life. He sort of walked away, kind of threw his hands in the air, walked away at a very intense time for you. He realises that he hurt you and he's, he's wanting to come back, expect a message. Okay, yeah. I'm connecting with Alan. Alan, you may know a Jennifer or a Jen. <laughs> okay, Alan, you may be interested in a Jen or Jennifer who works in a florist. Yes. Mm. You keep coming in and she's always really smiley and you your words get stuck in your throat and you can't say anything. Because you're single, you're not in there to buy flowers for anyone. You, you just like being around her. Okay, Alan, um, a really sweet guy. You need to have the courage 
Michael's telling me, have the courage to ask where this woman lives. The reason why you want to know where this woman lives, because you're going to say to her that you want to send her flowers. <laughs> Even though she works in a florist, yes. That's a nice way of introducing yourself, okay? Oh, I just wondered where you live. Do you live locally? And if she says, well, yeah, why? Well, I just thought I'd send you some flowers. <laughs> she's going to smile. She's going to laugh. She's going to love it, Alan. She finds you very attractive, but she also wonders why you keep coming in and then wandering out again, okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Michael. Sally. I'm connecting with a Sally. I'm seeing a massive truck with huge wheels, almost waist height wheels. Sally, you could be working in construction or you could be very interested in someone who drives a really big truck, right? Yeah, he's, in, he's interested in you too, but he's not quite sure whether or not you're single. You are single. I think, Sally, you're divorced or you could have moved into legal separation. Yeah, this guy is really interested in you too. You need to somehow bring into conversation that you are unattached, right? You could talk about Christmas, have a conversation about Christmas. What are you doing over the festive season? And then he obviously will ask you because he's polite. And you then have the chance to say something like, well, I'm on my own because I got divorced last year or because... I no longer live with my husband. We're separated. It's going to give him the information he needs. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm hearing, just take it from there. <laughs> he's he's going to want to move this forward. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the name. It sounds um, unusual. I'm hearing Am Amrita. Or something like that. Amrita. Could be Anrita. Ooh, okay. Amrita, you are needing to get in um, a gardener. you got some very high hedges that you want cut down or, or um, reduced in height. You keep going into the garage, Amrita, and looking at this massive chainsaw and thinking you could do it yourself. Do not do it yourself. You could have a very nasty injury, okay? It's worth paying the money to get somebody to do it. Don't do it yourself. I can see this chainsaw hanging from a hook in a garage. And you're looking at it as if to say, well, surely I could do it myself. No, 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 no. Michael's saying absolutely not. Yeah. Don't go anywhere near the chainsaw. I'm feeling very uncomfortable. <sighs> okay, get a gardener to do it. All right. I'm hearing Jack's, Jack's, uh, Jack something, Jack's, Jack Cynthia, some, something like that. Okay, Jack's, he's coming, this guy that you have in your mind, he's coming back to you, but his situation hasn't changed. Just be aware of that. But he wants you to be patient because things will move forward in the future. I'm actually hearing keep standing your ground in a pleasant way. Don't get angry. Don't say anything you're going to regret. Don't burn any bridges. He is coming back to you, but his situation hasn't changed. Stand firm, but be kind about it. Okay? Because he's on the edge of closing out a previous cycle, is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chrissy. Chrissy, you're a lot of fun. I'm actually seeing a dartboard. I'm also seeing a bowling alley. Chrissy, you may like to go out locally. You're going to get talking to someone. <laughs> okay. He's also, <laughs> he's also called Chris. Chrissy and Chris. Yeah. You're going to meet a guy called Chris. You're going to have a laugh about it. Oh, who are you? I'm Chris. I'm Chris too. Yeah. I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing soft drinks in paper cups. You're going to have a laugh. 
about it and you're going to get chatting. Ooh, okay. I'm just hearing the words, and then there were three. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy, you may get pregnant by this guy. You may end up living together. You may end up getting married. I just keep hearing, and then there were three. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Mary, 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 Mary. Mary B, Mary B. Don't worry, the sun's going to come out again, is what I'm hearing. Mary B, the sun's going to come out again. You've been feeling very, very down. You're in a very restrictive situation. There's going to be massive change in 2024, yes. You may find yourself packing up to move. There may be a change in a parental situation. You're also going to be connecting with someone you knew a long time ago. It may be a friend. It could be someone you used to date. You're going to reconnect and everything's suddenly going to feel better. Mary B. Yes. <laughs> Mary B. Marcus, you always wondered if your father was your father. Yes, he was, but your sister is just your half-sister. Okay. Michael's saying leave it there. You will know exactly what that's all about. Marcus. Yes. Joe. Could be Josephine. Joe, you're very interested in a woman at work. But you don't know if she is that way inclined, put it that way, right? You don't know if she is interested in women too. She is. She loves your smile. You've got a really beautiful smile. <laughs> okay. She keeps trying to she keeps trying to run into you. It could be at the photocopier, it could be getting a cup of coffee. She keeps trying to sort of have time with you on your own to get chatting to you. But I'm hearing somebody else always turns up. Or somebody else always walks past. She doesn't quite know what to do. So, Joe, if this is you, then um, have a confidence to say hello because she's very interested. OK, yeah. I'm hearing something about spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, one of you may be involved in accountancy you may want to talk to her about helping you with something just to get the ball rolling she's gonna kind of understand why you're asking her yeah <laughs> okay Suzanne 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 I'm spelling it I'm seeing it as s-u-z-a-n-n-e or it could be no, it, it is, it's not Susan, it's Suzanne. Yeah, Suzanne. There could be a proposal on New Year's Eve. Wear something nice. And don't get moody if you feel that the guy that you're with is acting a bit strange because he's going to pop the question. So don't get moody. Don't tell him that you need a bit more time to get ready. Don't have an argument before you leave for an event because you're going to ruin it. Just be nice. Just be calm. He's going to propose. Okay, Suzanne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing a load of people screaming Happy New Year and you crying. Okay, with happiness. So uh, yeah, that's for Suzanne. It's been a long time coming is what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh, I'm connecting with someone who's not going through a great time. Mia. Mia, unusual name, Mia, could be short for something, could even be Miller, Mia or Miller, yeah, you hate your job, oh my goodness, you've got a horrible boss, mm -hmm. I hate to say this, she's a female, she cracks the whip, she's just, I'm sorry to say, she's just uh, a little bit unpleasant to deal with, but just know 
if this is you, that she's had a really bad life. She's had a really rough life. And it's caused her to sit very much in her masculine energy. Her career is her life. She, she doesn't connect with many people at an emotional level anymore. But you are destined for great things. You're destined for great things. You need to follow your heart. You could be very artistic. Mm. You need to follow that route because she's not going to get any better. Things are not going to improve and she hates you because you're very attractive and you're younger than she is. Yeah, she's just a bit jealous, okay? But you're better off leaving the company. Your job is safe, but I'm hearing January 2024, you may look for another job. You're going to be so much happier. And you're going to have a lovely male boss who needs organising. He's a bit bumbly. I'm hearing bumbly. He needs organising. He was He's going to love you. And you're going to have a really lovely relationship. I'm getting an older man who you may almost feel as if you want to mother. <laughs> he's a bit disorganised. He's going to need you. You may need to start at a slightly lower level in the company, but you're going to rise up the ranks quite quickly. Yeah. But this guy really needs you. Hmm. Marlon. I'm connecting with a Marlon. Okay, Marlon, you may be taking a lot of bodybuilding supplements I can see a guy he's really muscly but you're you're I'm sorry I'm hearing you're poisoning your system because you may be getting them cheap on eBay or something like that cut it out because what you're buying contains chemicals which are building up in your body and you could be in danger of becoming quite ill. Okay? You're taking too much. You're not looking at the prescription of what's actually in this stuff. I'm seeing a massive bag of powder mixing into a, a drink. You may be taking it three times a day. Wow, Michael's now showing me. It's really strange. It's almost like I'm being shown inside of your body to a, a, a red muscle it was like a, a red muscle and I'm seeing this muscle uh, warped in shape and leaking leaking a liquid yeah Marlon just um, cut out cut out what you're taking or go to a proper fitness shop and try to buy a similar type of thing that is organic. Apparently you can get this organic. It's more expensive, but it's much higher quality and you need to take half the amount you're taking now. Yeah. Michael's saying if you carry on the way you are, you're going to have a lot of problems in a couple of years time and it may be irreversible. Okay, Marlon? Yeah. Thank you, Michael. BT, 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 could be short for Beatrice, BT, BT, you love your dog, but you start feeding your dog because your dog's getting fat, BT, your dog is pregnant, you need to get your dog to a vet, so don't withhold food because your dog needs food right now, yeah, <laughs> there's going to be four puppies, okay, BT, so you may be worried, thinking, why is my dog putting on weight? Maybe I'm feeding my dog too many treats. Yeah, no, your dog is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be gentle. Be gentle with her. And take her to a vet. She's going to be fine, but she is pregnant. Mm. I'm just seeing a big letter S. I'm hearing Ukraine. I could be connecting with somebody whose name starts with S from the Ukraine. You may be very highly educated in the Ukraine, but 
You may have found it difficult to get a job in the US, which is where you may be now. You may be doing bartending work and feeling really fed up. Don't worry, you're going to be meeting someone who is going to help you. You may feel very on your own. You may feel it's sort of you against the world. You're dealing with some very rude people and people are rude sometimes in cafes. You know, they click the fingers. They expect you to be in there in two minutes flat. They don't leave you tips. We've all been there. Keep going. Stick a smile on your face and keep going because you're going to meet someone and everything's going to change. They could be Canadian. Yeah. I'm here in Canada. They could be Canadian. <laughs> okay. Could be romantic. All right. Yeah. So keep going. Letitia. Yes, you're pregnant. Yes, you are. You're going to have a little boy. Letitia, he's going to be... Um, Moving into a career that you may not approve of, but you must let him do it because it's his calling. It could be something that you perceive to be a little bit unusual or even dangerous. I'm hearing firefighter. Okay. You must let him do it because it's his calling and he's going to love what he does. He's going to be safe because he's got a lot of protection around him. Yes. He's going to want to save people's lives. Yes. So allow him to do it, Letitia. He's going to be fine. Mm. But yes, you're going to have a little boy. <laughs> okay. Mandy, there's no time like the present. You've been hanging around for way too long. You need to get on it now. Like now. Yeah, Mandy, no more delaying. No more delaying. You know it's time. Just get on it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. That goes out to Mandy. All right. Laurie. I'm seeing it as L-A-U-R-I-E. You could be male or female. Laurie. Um, I may be connecting with a female. Laurie, I'm seeing a woman park her car and forget to lock it. You've got your laptop on the passenger seat that's in full view. You're going to forget. You're going to be rushing. You may just drive into a supermarket and forget to lock your car. Or maybe forget to put your laptop under the front seat as you usually do. OK, it's going to be in full view. It's going to be stolen. OK, Laurie, this is a future warning. So for God's sake, make sure your windows are closed Make sure you lock your car and put your laptop where you usually do under the passenger seat of your car. Make sure the boot is locked and it's going to be fine. But remember that because this is a very expensive laptop. Farinda, Farinda, don't get on the 605 because there's going to be an accident. Don't get on the 605. Now, I don't know, it could be a train, it could be a bus, it could be a road called the 605. I'm hearing 605. No, 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 Farinda. Yes. You may also have a funny feeling about it on the day. Yes. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. There could be an accident. Mm. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm feeling pain in my sacral and I'm hearing jackknife. Okay. Yeah. So just, just don't do it. Don't do it. I'm connecting with a woman called Betty now. Betty. Betty, you may um, be an older lady. You may even be in a retirement home or a retirement village is what I'm hearing. There's a man who's very interested in you. He's very old school. He can sometimes be a bit gruff. 
He doesn't mean to be. He doesn't have many people left alive in his family. He feels a bit isolated. He's very interested in you. I'm actually seeing a man who could be Indian descent, very attractive, put together. He may have an injury. He may even be in a wheelchair. He's been trying to gather up the courage to ask you to have tea with him. Tea. He loves his he loves his tea. Yes. I'm hearing I'm hearing Jai Jaipur. It could be from Jaipur. I don't know if there's a tea called Jaipur. Um, but he's been wanting to take you for tea. Yes. So Betty, if you know this is you, then smile at him and maybe have a conversation. <laughs> he simply thinks you're lovely. He simply thinks you're lovely. Okay, thank you, Michael. That was sweet. I'm seeing the letter K and I'm hearing Poland. I could be connecting... Okay, could be... Could be Katrina, Katrine, Kath... Katharina, something like that. You could come from Poland. You're very talented as a seamstress. Michael's saying stop playing small. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit blunt. Stop, stop playing small. You may be making beautiful little things to sell at a craft fair for not very much money. You need to think bigger. You need to think bigger. You could even decide to get into making accessories, beautiful scarves. I'm seeing silk scarves, silk scarves. And you may also want to look at going to a wholesalers. I'm seeing massive rolls of what looks like wool, soft wool fabric, could even be cashmere, cashmere fabric. You're going to be moving into creating beautiful accessories for the home and for women. I'm seeing cashmere pillows, cashmere shrugs, scarves in lots of different colours. You're going to get your name known. Yes, and you could be picked up by local boutique who may have contacts elsewhere. Yeah, so if you're okay from Poland, then think bigger, think bigger. Don't be, don't be afraid to expand. And you may need to go around a few shops in your area to see whether or not any boutiques would want to buy pieces that you make. Yeah, Michael's saying you can do a little bit better than craft fairs in the area. And coming up to Christmas, it's a really good time to get your name out there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just hearing the, the, I'm hearing the carol, the holly and the ivy. I don't know whether or not you're going to be making things out of bits of holly and ivy. I don't know whether or not there's a shop called the holly and the ivy or holly and ivy in your area. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Michael. Lizzie, connecting with Lizzie. Lizzie, you're an incredible home cook. Yes. You're destined to actually start a very successful home business creating organic meals for people in retirement homes. Yes. Lizzie, you're going to be doing sort of a very smart or posh um, Meals on Wheels. It's going to be incredibly successful to the point where you may even open up your own little shop, homemade food. It's going to be incredibly successful. Yes. Yeah. So Lizzie, if this is you thinking you're in a nine to five job or you love cooking and you want to do something with it, then that is where you're going to be led in the future. Mm. You need to do Michael showed me a certificate. You, you may need to get a certificate or a license to actually cook food. You may need to have someone come to your home and inspect your home. 
something about hygiene, a hygiene certificate or something like that. Yeah. But it's going to be very successful. I can see a woman wearing what looks like polythene gloves. You know, sometimes you see medical people wearing polythene gloves when they're dealing with patients. Or, you know, if you're dyeing your hair, you put on plastic polythene gloves. Um, yeah, you're going to be using those to cook with. You're going to need to, you're going to need to make sure everything is spotlessly clean. Move the cat bowls out of the kitchen and put them elsewhere. Disinfect everything. Um, he's going to be a very picky man this inspector but this is what you're going to be led to do okay yeah you're going to be very successful Lizzie all right Michael saying that's all the messages for now so everyone um enjoy December uh, and I will be putting out a Christmas edition of these channel guidance messages so I will see you soon take care now bye then